Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys can tell by the title, I am doing a Valentine's Day date with myself. Just a mukbang, but Valentine's Day kind of themed. I'm wearing the closest thing I have to red. It is pink. I still think it's quite cute. So, we're going to be eating some Mexican food. And look, I wasn't going to go overboard. I'm not too hungry. I just bought like an entree kind of thing, like a side, main, and a dessert. Um, just to kind of replicate a date, but a date with you guys, a date with myself, a date just chatting, doing whatever. So I'm actually featuring some jewelry pieces from Ana Luisa to celebrate their Valentine's Day sale, which I'll be linking everything to do with that down below. And I just wanted to show you the pieces that they kindly sent me to celebrate this sale and to tell you guys about it as well. I try to stick with like a Valentine's Day theme, um, but also get stuff that I really, really love and will wear all the time, like I do with all of my Ana Luisa jewellery anyway. You've probably seen it, I wear it in all of my videos. The necklaces, the earrings are more than likely from Ana Luisa every time. And yeah, um, so before I started the video, I just wanted to show you guys them pieces. I got, just out of the way. I got this beautiful ring. Can you see? What is on that? Oh, it's just my order. <laughs> so I got this beautiful ring. It's actually been designed by Connor Kathleen on YouTube, on social media. She's an Australian influencer and it's just so gorgeous. That's what it looks like there. My favorite thing about this ring is that it's, it's actually adjustable, as you can see there. Like you kind of pinch it close to fit your finger. And I have really small fingers and I don't know my ring size, which is probably stupid. Um, but I didn't really want to pick a ring that wouldn't fit fit um i didn't have like a ring fitter i don't know like a ring size uh next up oh yeah so that is actually called connor after connor obviously and all this stuff came in their sustainable packaging which i actually received last time as well and they came in different pouches than last time i haven't clubbed with them in a while um, but they came in like these little pouches and these are the ones for the bigger items. I just want to read off the name of the necklace because I actually can't remember what it's called. But it is a infinity necklace, um, which is what I thought it was anyway. So it's called the Sam necklace. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but I'll insert like a little close up of it it's just like two of the rings that are like infinity if that makes sense so i thought that suited the valentine's day theme it's very dainty it is just right on my street and yeah i'm very happy with it um and it sits so well there's actually like two options of where you can put it on your neck i kind of did it the higher up version today because that's all i could do with my fake nails it was the first like um one that it clasped clasped to so i was just taking that and running with it <laughs> um and then next up we've got these beautiful earrings so like i was saying before i wear Ana Luisa pieces every day the necklace um that i have on normally when i didn't have this one um is i think the riviera necklace and these are the riviera um earrings sorry i'm getting confused about what i'm talking about but they're literally the exact same design as my necklace and i really love it because then i can match or i can mix and match it's really up to me choices are endless and then last but not least i got something quite out of my comfort zone it's a bracelet now i knew this would be quite big for me anyway i've got it on like the second smallest setting like here is where you do it up i'm thankful for these big like clips that don't look like too bulky but they still they can still clip it because i have fake nails and it's really difficult um but yeah so i could probably go like to the smallest setting so they have like rings here i don't know if you can see that it's like focusing on my face sorry i'm starving <laughs> i'm really excited to eat but this is called the harry bracelet and i mainly got it because my boyfriend's name is harry so yeah i thought that would be a nice little touch hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on to some valentine's day talk boys girls whatever you're into no one i don't know but i'm so excited to eat i've actually never had anything from this mexican place before it's called salsas um pretty sure it's just in my local shopping center's food court i don't know what is wrong with this camera but it won't focus but these are some chips i got a mini chicken burrito 
And then in here is the dessert, which I'm actually going to keep like this. <laughs> it doesn't look that um, appetizing in the foil. But anyways, I think this is chili and lime dip. Um, yeah. So I got the chicken fajita mini burrito. And I swapped the rice. I think they do like lime and coriander, but I hate coriander um rice so i swapped to cauliflower rice and i added cheese and guacamole and then for dessert we have a taco churro which i'll show you what is in that um and yeah let's just get to eating because i'm actually starving and let's let's chat a little bit i hope you guys can see this there we go that's probably a bit better you can probably see my toes somewhere but anyways they're a bit cold but that's fine Maybe they left, I don't know. I think it's chili and lime. It smells a bit limey, so we'll just stick with that. And dip some in. Last video I posted was actually my like Kmart haul, but I told you guys that I had COVID. Oh, a bit spicy. Um, basically, and I have like no taste or smell, but my smell is coming back. Like I can smell the first whiff of something and then it kind of goes away. Same with my taste. Um, but I'm taking that as a good sign that it's slowly coming back. I hope. I'm sure all this stuff like tastes like so amazing. I'm just literally happy to be eating something because I'm so hungry. All right, let's open this burrito. I was going to get a full one, but I was like, I literally won't eat it. Look at that. I can't tell until I edit if this stuff is in focus or not, but I'm literally showing you a burrito. Oh my God, I can taste that. That tastes so good. Sorry, I love dipping everything in sauce. Yum. It's even got like the salsa fresca in it. And I didn't have an option to say that you could take it out. So I just left it in. I don't like tomatoes, by the way. It's probably like my most picky... Like, it's the one thing I won't eat. <clears throat> if it's diced up in little bits like it is in this burrito, I'll eat it. Um, but, like, big slices in burgers, no. I'll pick it out. I'll take it out. I'll ask for it to come without it. Like, whatever. Um, but, yeah. Oh, my God. I just put some guacamole probably all over my face. So, let's talk about like dates, like first dates, uh, not that I've like been on many, I've probably been on like three first dates, number one, can't remember, it was literally ages ago, um, and he ended up being my boyfriend, and then broke up, then it took me ages to actually get the courage to go on another date, things didn't work out with that person. I went on a few dates with them. They were nice, but I didn't like feel like anything more than friends. And it was obvious to me that he did. So it was a bit awkward. I didn't like want to reject him on like the very first date and be like, no, and like cross it out. Because I had to keep in mind that it was like the first date I had been on in a long, long time. Um, but yeah, I forgot <laughs> what I was saying. I haven't done this sort of thing in so long, like where I have nothing planned to talk about, but I like it. Anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, so I went on a few days with them and then like I didn't feel anything, but I wanted to give it like a chance. So yeah, and I did for a bit and then it just like fizzled into nothing. And then a couple months later, I met my now boyfriend 
long time. <laughs> We're actually coming up to our third year anniversary, which is like a week after Valentine's Day. But yeah, so <laughs> things really came when I least expected it with my current boyfriend. Like I wasn't looking for anything really, really serious because I did just come out of a really long relationship um, and that ended quite badly. <laughs> Um, like in my case, I guess, because of how like my mental health reacted with that. Um, but it was a teaching, it was a learning curve. That's the right word. That's the right saying. Um, and in that sense, I appreciate that it happened. I am literally... The most simple person when it comes to dates. I know everyone says that. It's like quite cliche. Like, oh my god, just take me anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. But literally, me and my boyfriend don't go anywhere fancy. I'm lucky that we're like neither of us are those types of people. Um, because I don't know about you. But especially since COVID hit, like going to the city just doesn't appeal to me anymore. Even though that's where like all the nice restaurants are. I just can't be bothered like going on the train. And doing all that and then coming home and it's late especially in winter i would never do that unless it's something really amazing i'm not gonna do it but anyway that's just me so if that's a bit like out of place i don't even know where i was sitting my camera just stopped recording for some reason but i had to get up um i'm really excited to see what this dessert is it does not look like what it I thought it would look like from the picture <laughs> but hopefully it is better than it looks but yeah like i was saying movies we love the movies um <laughs> what else do we do since covid i feel like our standards are quite low as well um i love that i'm literally like falling off the bed to try and be in frame i don't know why i'm doing that I just want everything to be in but my light doesn't reach the powerpoint <laughs> anymore because i changed my room again surprise <laughs> i feel like a mini burrito is like definitely enough for me in movies we go mini golf um what else do we do i mean we do all the stuff that we did when we first started dating and that's where it really like that's how i kind of knew that this was like my type of person and we're basically like the same in so many ways but so different in a lot of other ways like for example very laid back he is not me <laughs> in like certain aspects i am um but like he like with stuff that i find important he doesn't find that important things like that but nothing that like would end our relationship because hmm. obviously that would be kind of like a deal breaker but in that way we kind of like calm each other down because the way i would react to something he wouldn't really react so he gets like my point of view i don't really know how to explain it this is probably one of the worst setups I've ever had for a rock band. I apologize. Oh, I'm actually like getting quite full. I was actually so excited to film this video. Because like I said, I haven't filmed an eating video in such a long time. My last one was like trying the new KFC burger. That wasn't really like a mukbang either. Mexican is a good food. I've eaten too fast. I'm getting like a heartburn or something. <laughs> Speaking of like romance. Whoops. Well, kind of romance. If you've read it, you kind of know what I mean. But I actually gave in and read a book. 
for the first time in a long time. And I've been meaning to get back into reading because I used to love it. I know everyone says that. But especially like when I was single and whatever, that's all I wanted to do. It's just read, get taken away into like another place. But in that state of mind, I couldn't really be distracted from what I was feeling. So <laughs> that's something. Um, anyways, I read It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And oh my god, hello, what is this? Big piece of onion. I really hope this lighting isn't as crap as it looks like in the viewfinder or else I'm going to cry. Um, yeah, so I read that and it ends with us. Mixed reviews because one of my friends really didn't like it. But I really enjoyed it. I don't know if it's because like, it's one of the first books that I've read since coming back into like reading, I guess. Um, but I couldn't put it down. <laughs> I had to limit myself because I didn't want to finish it so quick. Ah. I only had it for like a week before I finished it. Am I dumb? Why did I not do this from the start? Wow, this is so much better. I'm, I apologize for how I was sitting before. That um, Colleen Hoover book actually reminded me <clears throat> quite a lot of After, like the Wattpad series that got turned into like 500 movies and like a, like a mega book series. I'll get this right someday. Um, yeah, it reminded me of that. So if you liked it, not necessarily if you like the movies, because I know the movies have been, hello, a bit of a letdown. Um, I think it was the first one that was good. Is there three out? I don't know. But there's another one coming this year. <laughs> um, but yeah, that book reminded me of those books. So... Alright, let's open this dessert. It was meant to be like a taco, like a soft taco, um, with like churros and chocolate sauce and strawberries inside it. It is that. Can you see that? <laughs> it looks gross. No offense, salsas, but it does look gross. There's a churro and strawberries. It literally looks like a sausage in a dog. In a dog. In a wrap. Oh my god. What the hell? That texture is life changing. The soft wrap with the like kind of soft strawberries. And the really crunchy churro. That is really nice. I'm really surprised. I also started watching the woman in the window across from the street of something i don't know what it's called um but it's like a parody of something i actually didn't know it was a parody because i watched like the girl on the train which is quite similar but apparently this one with Kristen bell was meant to be like a parody and it was meant to be like a comedy but now it turned into like a serious thing i don't know but i read something on tiktok about that but i started it and i think i watched like episode five I'm going to watch some tonight. I'll probably end up finishing it because episodes are like 20 minutes, half an hour. <laughs> that just shows how exciting my life is. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I have to finish my last ever assignment for my digital marketing course I've been doing forever. It was literally meant to take me three years and it's th three years and it's taken me nearly five, I think, 2018. 19, 20, 21, 22, nearly four. Okay, that's not too bad. But I have to finish it by March. Okay, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. But I just wanted to remind you guys again about Anna Louise's Valentine's Day sale. If you love the pieces that I'm wearing, go shop them because they're literally incredible, incredible quality. Like I can really vouch for Anna Louisa and their brand because i love it thank you guys so much for watching and everything needed will be in the description box below so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in my next video bye